The pandemic made it tough last year for many people to find and keep jobs, of course. And for many teenagers looking for seasonal work, it was even harder. That's about to change. Channel 9's Karen Parks is live now at Fun Spot, and Karen the Park just started a hiring event today. That's right, Vanessa, and today they started with 200 openings, but Fun Spot is not the only place hiring, and after last year's pandemic, it's a great time for teens who want to work to find a job. I want to work. It's a message heard by many teens. I want to work. After the financial pain from the pandemic. With the pandemic, you know, the virus, it really uh, affects the community. And with people going out of work, I feel like that jobs are really important nowadays. Important enough to push many teens to find a job. Last summer, every job was either hi uh, not hiring and firing people. Uh, this summer, it's a lot of different opportunities. Here at Fun Spot, there are at least 200 spots open for those hungry to work. It certainly is the number of employees that are being hired this year. Last year at this time, everyone was closing up, so it's just the opposite of that. We're all coming back to life. It's a life making money that many teens are ready to live. Last summer, seasonal jobs were the hardest to get, and teens like Laura struggled the most. Last year, I had a job first and then well we had to shut it down because of the corona there are hundreds of jobs around the city for teens 15 and up in fact career source central florida just opened up its applications for its annual summer youth program the program helps 1500 young adults gain exposure to college experiences and pay job opportunities now back at fun spot i got the job i got the job don't we all remember that feeling? Now, we've also learned that the city of Orlando will open up applications for its summer job program next week. They have partnered with different businesses around Central Florida who are anxious to hire those ready to work. Live here at Fun Spot, Karen Parks, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.